Hey guys, so welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be finishing off the grid in our front page, and it's going to be a blog underneath here with latest posts and a sidebar. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's hop over to our code here, and we're going to add some code above the clear fix. So let's get started. We're going to add a blog tag to, to contain all our code. And since this is going to be a latest post, we're also going to share that same tag from index.php, uh, this one. So inside here, we're going to have content left oops content left and as was well an id of front page left now we can use this id to uh, add some special styling just to the front page one and then we're going to have um, a title front page title and we're going to call this latest posts we'll start that later and then inside of that, we're going to have a class called featured, sorry, not featured, latest posts with an S at the end. I'll tell you why later. And inside of that, we're going to add another PHP function. This is going to be our loop query um, posts. And inside of here, we're going to go posts per page, just like last time. And last time we did minus one, but we don't want minus one. We only want four for this tutorial. You guys can change it if you want to. And oops. inside here, do a while loop. A while have posts. Then display the post. Okay. That's our loop, and we'll end the loop right here. And while, and we'll reset the query. Set query. Cool. Now let's get into coding the actual. Oops. Uh, actual post. Okay. So I'm gonna add a class called call one two. Now remember in the previous episode. If you saw it, I'll leave a link to the description to our, my previous episode. We added this class called call one two, and this is that's for the blog grid. So we're going to be using it now. And inside of that, we're going to have a class called featured post. Okay. Uh, sorry, not featured. Why do I come in? Typing featured latest post, and that's why we put the S there because this is doesn't have an S. So this is the singular and this is everything. And inside of the latest posts, we're gonna have H1 with a class of title and an anchor tag with with the href of the permalink. Oops. Permalink. And inside of that we're gonna have a PHP function called the title to get the post title. It's logical. And then we're going to have the thumbnail, the front page thumbnail. So we're going to make a class called front page thumbnail and php the post thumbnail. So this is just get the thumbnail. And we're going to use the size medium thumbnail, which is a size that we will register now. Just write that in. And we're going to our functions.php to add that size called medium image and the size is 267 by 200 so it's similar to the small thumbnail just a little bit bigger okay and underneath that we're going to have the content or the excerpt I prefer the excerpt because it's more sm shortened and then after this, we're going to have our sidebar. 
content left. This is, let's just add some reference. End of content left. And down here. End of latest posts. Okay. So in here, let's add another div called content right. And give it a PHP uh, function called get sidebar. Now, you may be wondering, let's just quickly do this. Now, you may be wondering that uh, there might be floating left and right. Well, we've got clear fix right here. And this clear fix will clear, clear both for all of our clips. So, we'll save it. And let's take a look. If we go on our website now and refresh the page, uh, you can see here we have a somewhat decent looking uh, latest post page. It's not the best yet, but we can make it a lot better. You can see the grid is working pretty nicely. And the side, but now there's a little bit of margin here. We can fix that easily. Uh, that's why we put the ideal front page left. And what we can do now, um, let's go to front page here. We can go here front page left and let's give the width of 60% sorry 65% if we look at our other content left let's go to content left we'll put it 60% and content right 35 this is because for our pages let's go to page uh, contact oh by the way I've added some of these pages for you oh, not that one uh, we don't we want a little bit of spacing in between that's why I made it a bit smaller. But for the front page, we don't want any uh, changing up because we've already got some margin. So if we save that and check it out now, um, well, it changed, I guess. But let me see if I did it. Uh, what was that again? Front page. Yeah, it should it should appear when we add some stylings. So, let's style the post thumbnail. Let's go here and go front page thumbnail, which was the class that we added, and image. And we'll give a width of 100% and a margin of around 20 pixels top and bottom. Now if we take a look, um, we get some margin, and it'll always be 100%. So, let's go back, and let's style this, this right here. Uh, above here, I'm going to get, it's a class of front page title, if you recall. Uh, my front page, front page title. And in here, we're going to have the font family of Oswald which was the Google web font that we installed. If not, let's go sans serif. And we're going to have a margin top of 40 pixels. A, let's see what, let's give it a color of white. Of padding of 10 pixels, zero. Um, what else, text line center. And let's give it a background color of a nice darky orangey color. Light is a vibrant orange color. And there you can see our latest posts. And yeah, cool. Let's style these uh, fe uh, featured latest posts now. So let's go into our code now and hop over to our grid section. And we're going to style the the latest posts, I'll show you here, the latest posts um, element. Let's go latest posts, and we'll give it a, just a, we don't really need a style, we're just going to style the latest post. So we're going to give it a background of a, of this, the same color as the sidebar background. 
which is a really nice gray. It's not that dark, it's not that light. Or well, it is pretty light, but it looks good. And a padding of 20 pixels. And to separate them from top and bottom, we'll give it a padding of 20 pixels. Sorry, margin. If we take a look. There we go, that looks a lot better. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. Uh, let's take a look at this element. We can reduce the padding. So, this title, as you can see, it's got a lot of padding. So to remove that, let's go into our grid here. And that class, the title, that's inside. Where's that inside? That's inside. Sorry, why do I, why do I keep on going in desktop.php? That's inside latest post. Let's go to the latest. Sorry. Um, title. And we'll give it a padding of 5 pixels instead. To reduce the amount. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And now there's one thing that we need we need to do before we continue. And here, that's here. Also need to change some padding here. And when we registered the sidebar, as you can see here, the home widget, we gave it a class of home widget. So we can style that as well. Let's go down to home widgets. Let's give this a real class. Like this post. So here we can go home widget h2. I want to give that a class, uh, a font family of Oswald as well. Because it is a nice font, I like it a lot. If not sans serif. And let's see what we can do. We also can add a margin bottom of 15 pixels. And a bit of padding, top and bottom. See how that looks? Yeah, I like that a lot. So we don't need this. Why do we even have that? Yeah, there we go. So you can style that as much as you like, but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. And yeah, cool. Alright guys, so now let's make this grid responsive. Let's go into our media queries and let's copy this here. And let's give this 750 pixels. And in this one, what's going to happen is the three columns, the featured, um, call on three, these ones, uh, they're going to be 100 pixels and 100%, sorry. And we're going to get rid of the padding, right? And then we're going to get this. Oops, sorry about that. We're going to get this. And I'll extend this again. Get smaller. To 500 pixels. And here we're going to start the latest post. The call one, two, all of them. And we'll go once again with 100% padding right zero. We'll close it up, save. And if we refresh the page, Okay, there we go. You can see here that it changed. And when you scroll down, there we go. And if you keep on scrolling, it will eventually um, do what I did wrong. Oops, go back. So, oh, my bad. Um, so, over here, instead of 500 pixels, it's 580 pixels. Sorry about that. And now, if we refresh the page, you can see here it falls back to one post per row. And so now we have a fully functional, responsive grid system on our website. So, um, that's cool. So now let's finish off the finishing touches and let's add some tags here. 
and category. So I don't want to put in the time uh, because I don't think it's relevant in this case. So I'm just going to put in some categories and tags. Let's go into our code. And right here, below the excerpt, I'm going to put in the tags. So we're going to surround the class, tags, and a PHP function called the tags. And the there's two parameters. The first parameter is the text shown before the words. So in this case, I'm just going to put tags. And then the next is the before and after of each tag. In this case, I want space and a forward slash as well. So then we're going to have the categories up here. We're going to let's see. Let's go. Let's add a PHP function called the category. Gory. And here we're going to add a parameter to space things out. And then we're going to in. So we'll save that. Let's take a look at the changes we made. Now we have in WordPress, which is a category I have. And you can click on the category name. And it will redirect to the category page. And if we go back. Into our home page, and we scroll down. Tags are also displayed. Hey guys, so there is one little bug that we have to fix first. Um, that's if we show what what the bug is. There, at the moment, it looks good, but when we make the web page a bit smaller, you can see here. Let's go down. This widget here gets a bit too big. Alright. Let's get one strong. Oh. Yeah, there you go. You can see that that widget gets a bit too big and then it blocks this whole area, this whole column out. So we want to fix that right now. It's relatively easy to do that. Uh, we're just going to style the featured. And we're just going to go here, display in blind block. So now if we save it, no matter the height of the widget, this section here will be fine. So that's how we can fix that. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please leave a like, a thumbs up and feel free to give me some feedback and tips and yeah, and yeah, and <laughs> anyway guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, and yeah, peace.